In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can create a PDF download button in CSS. All right, so here in the example project, we have this button here. It's fixed to the bottom of the viewport. And if you click on that, it starts downloading a PDF file. Okay, let's go to our HTML. That's all the JavaScript that we're gonna write, by the way. So I'm gonna close the script file and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna collapse this uh, this grid of projects again so that it doesn't take up so much space. Right. So here, right before um, the end of the 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 ending main tag. Let's create that download button. And we're actually also gonna use an anchor tag here because we want to download that file and we can make that work, but we have to use an anchor tag. We're gonna give it a class of btn and then a second class of btn dash dash download. Right, so it will have the same base class as that contact button but then it's gonna have some uh, special styling. Okay, so here we can specify the path to that CV file. Right now, we don't have a file like that here. So let's actually create an empty uh, PDF file. We can simply create a new file and we can call it cv.pdf. Right, and uh, let me close this. Right, so it's just empty for now, but this could be your information. Right, so then we have to specify the path. Well, it's in the same folder, so we can simply write cv.pdf. Now, what we will also add here is an attribute, download. This will instruct the browser to download this file. Now, as a sign out, that will only work if the, if the cv, if this file is on the same origin as they call it. If, you, if your cv is hosted by a third party, so for example, on a so-called uh, CDN, then um, the browser will actually open it up in a new tab. That's okay, by the way, because then the user can still download it in the new tab. I'm gonna close the sidebar here again. So the text in here should be download CV. Now we want, uh, we want the CV part to be a bit bolder, right? If you look at the example, you can see CV is a little bit bolder. So we can use a utility class here. So we can wrap that in a span. And we can say you boulder. And let's see. Right, so make sure you have that. And if we look now, let's see what we have. Okay, so it's sitting somewhere here at the bottom. It already has some styles because it has that BTN class, right, that we also used for the contact button. So let's go to our CSS and let's go back to where we styled that button. So I can. I can search for that. I can use control F and I can write dot BTN. Okay. So here we have our button right here. We had some special styles for the contact button, but now we're going to have some special styles for the download button. So what we want to do here is we want to make it bigger. So 16 pixels on top and bottom and 30 pixels on the right and left side. Um, we also want to change the font size to 16 pixels, right? So this font size will overwrite the font size from the from the main, from the base class. We want to make it fixed to the bottom of the viewport. So we can say position fixed. Let's actually try a position in it the way that we want it. So it should sit 27 pixels from the bottom. When you do that, it should appear again. Now, when you scroll, you can see it scrolls with us. It's below some other elements here, right? So we can change that with the Z index. We want this one to always be on top. So we can give this a very large number, but let's just give it uh, 100. Okay. Now it's, it's not centered in horizontally for some reason. So not only should it sit 27 pixels from the bottom, we can also say, well, let's try 50% from the left. But that didn't change anything. So it was actually already positioned 50%, right? But the way that works is basically it's gonna take 50%, right, from the left, and then it's gonna put the button there, right? So it takes 50%, and then it puts the button there. But we want the center of the button to coincide with the center of the page. So we have to pull it back a little bit, 
So it should be 50% minus some number. So we can actually use calc in CSS. So we can say 50%, that's too much. So we can subtract something from that. And you can play around with this, but we should we should subtract about 96 pixels. Right, so then it moves a little bit to the left again. Okay, we also want to add a box shadow. So zero pixels offset horizontally, six pixels to the bottom. The blur should be 23 pixels and the color was going to be black with an opacity of 0 0.45. Let's also quickly add the animation for the button. So when we load the page, we also want there to be a fade up animation for the bu for this button. So it's going to be the same steps, so we don't have to create any new keyframes. So it's, it's simply going to be fade up. It should uh it should happen in 0 0.5 seconds with a 0 0.4 second delay. During the delay, it should already take up the first uh, keyframe, right? So opacity zero, right? During the delay. Okay, so then if we save here. And if I reload the page, you can see it's really starting to come together very nicely. Okay, and let's actually try clicking this. So indeed it works, right? The the downloading feature is working. Now we still have to use we we still have to create the utility class. So that CV is a little bit bolder. Um let's see. Yeah, so we already had bold, but now we want uh an even bolder one. So we can say font weight and here we'll use 700, right? So I think that looks a little bit better. All right, that was actually already the download button. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.